Hello, I'm going to try and make this uh, a quick video because I don't, well, I've got a new camera. It's one of those Logitech C920s and I haven't figured out how to get the onboard H.264 to work very well yet. Um, there might be some magic in the Windows only software for it that I'm not running, but uh, when I try to record in H.264, it, uh, it just comes out all blocky and nasty and it looks like you know, you, you're viewing the really low quality YouTube, um, you know, when your signal's dodgy. You just can't make out text or these holes or anything like that when my hands get in the shot. So that's that's pretty rubbish. So I'm having to dump this onto the computer as uh, Motion JPEG, which is great because it produces these really crisp videos. Um, but it kind of sucks because every single frame is stored as an individual JPEG. So I think it's about like a gig a minute worth of footage uh worth, worth of disc that it uses and uh yeah i just don't have a great deal of space on my internal ssd um hey ho so i've been having a bit more of a play with this as you can probably see from these blue wires and these address lines having all moved about and uh the more i play with this the more I think that I might wind up tearing it all up and building it again. <gasps> I know, I'm not planning on tearing it up anytime soon, though I, if I do, I promise I'll do it on camera so you can see me destroy this. Um, there are a number of reasons for this. First off is uh, these breadboards themselves. They are of the, the slightly cheaper split power rail variety. Let me just try and play with the, the focus on this. As I say, new camera. So you can see I've got these little jumpers here and that's because if I look at the back you can see that there's a split in the rail there. It doesn't continue all the way and it's the same for all of them. Um, now this is actually indicated by the fact that this print doesn't, you know, the print breaks and that's your indication that the, uh, the connection doesn't continue. But uh, that's a bit annoying. The other thing is that while they look like they should fit onto these breadboards, the ones without the brake, the notches are just slightly different, so they don't actually fit. That is also annoying. I've got some more of these ones on the way. Hopefully they're still the same stock I bought from the same seller. Uh, so there's two things. Third issue is I think this would work better if the data comes in and out from the top and the address comes in from the bottom. Reason for that is that there are only four of the address signals on the, this side of the, the chips and the other eight, the other nine of them, is that nine? Yeah, nine, uh, are all over on this side. So, I think if these were down here, actually if all these, these three chips were down here, for a start they wouldn't need to be backwards because the outputs are on the, the top side of these, these chips. Again, let's play, play with the focus some more. So yeah, there, there's the chip, there's your notch, there's the text. The outputs are all on the top side. And uh, yeah, so I've had to flip them around. And also just the uh, nature of these, uh, with the w these are five seven fours. They're um, uh, register chips, but the inputs are all on this side, and then the outputs are all on that side. And you know, again, if they were down here, just the focus again. Um, if they were down here, then that wouldn't really be an issue. They could go the, the right way round. Um, and the fourth thing, thing the fourth, where are the LEDs on this? Excuse me, anyone? What happened to one of the central tenets of this project being lots of flashing LEDs that make me feel like I know what I'm doing? Poor show. Now, it's partly because over here, there's just no room. There's absolutely no room to put them in. Um, so, yeah. There's 
something. If I can try and figure a different way of arranging them, I might be able to create some kind of LED display. And I like I like to see the lights flash, and I like to be able to point to things and see the data and all that kind of stuff. So this is a little bit magical mystery. Um, my uh, 3x8 matrix is also the same, actually. If I just grab this, um, I've just yanked some of the wires out by mistake, but it's no biggie. Um, this is a very similar similar situation. Uh, there is just no... Where are the LEDs? Where are the lights? There are no lights on this thing. And, yeah, that's that's kind of annoying. I, I want lights, damn it. So, yeah, I'm contemplating... Oh, that's just a new one I'm putting in. I'm actually contemplating doing a complete redo of that one. Um, I don't know. I'm not committing to anything just yet, so... And if I do decide that I'm going to tear this apart, I'll do it on camera so you can see me destroy this thing. Um, but... I don't know. Uh, give me your thoughts. Let, let me know what you think. Do you, do, you, do you think it's worth it? Do you think it would be worth it to have more of a an LED theme? I don't know. I'll hold on to it for now. Anywho, have a good one.